Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Hello? I have no intro still. So it's just, it's just you guys and me. No, nothing fancy. How's it going, guys? Welcome. It's weird. It's weird not having, I should have turned on jazz or something. It's weird just starting this way. Welcome to the stream. I'm sorry it took me a little bit. I thought I was going to be able to stream before uh, my video came out, but I was not, I was not able. I, we're going to play Power Wash simulator because I uh that's what we're gonna play <laughs> that's just what I've got mm -hmm. the new place is good it's been you know I thought I would have everything set up by now that's just not how life works you know I'm glad you guys like the chip video I'm gonna you guys are gonna help me brainstorm my next what I'm gonna do next because I have to have another video out pretty quick Hers sour cream and onion. Dude, the hers reception for hers chips was crazy. Everybody loves the hers chips. Oh, wow. Alchemist G Joe, thank you for the 31 months. Cozy setup. I hope this is cozy and not awkward. It's a bit awkward for me, but you know, we're we're getting it. We're getting it done. Hanima, thank you for the 39 months. Sernunus. Thank you for the 16 months. Hey Ian, how's the new place? Doing as you can see, it's fully set up. It's uh, it looks great. I set my office up and then I destroyed it filming the chip video, and now I gotta fix it again. The littlest mice, thank you for the seven months. Soliloquy, oh oh, thank you for the two months. Yuzu Mori, thanks for the three months. Binge the backlog of streams. Mm, I need to. I, I need to be streaming more. I need to add to the backlog. YouTube didn't notify you of the recent video, but you got to watch it today. Hey, better late than never. Okay, you guys know who who knows Power Wash mode. I mean, not mode. Power Wash Simulator. You okay? Good. There's people here that know it. I have not played it. I barely looked into it at all. Uh, my Discord told me. I was thinking about doing House Flipper, oh, but then this wow. was pitched, and this seems like even less involved than House Flipper, which uh, I'm kind of excited about. Kara.com, thank you for the three months. I love streaking mm, for three months. Burger. Hope you're full, or hope you're well and full of cotton candy balls. No, but I did go to town on those Uts. Those Uts balls. Okay. Should I do career mode? What's a good mode? Career mode? Juggle weird and wonderful cleaning jobs and try to make your new power wash business a success. Mm, what a hamburger. Clean the van. Great news! Finally found a van for you at the auctions under your budget. Don't freak out when you see it. It looks like it's just been dredged from the bottom of a lake. But that's oh, a good thing. Wow. It meant no one else bid on it. They missed out. Underneath that hideous layer of gunk is your perfect workhorse. Engine's a dream, no rust, even though it was at the bottom of a lake. There's even equipment in the back. You just need a good, or just needs a good hosing down and you're in business. You'll certainly earn your pressure washing stripes getting this thing clean. I pressure washed for the first time at my house and that's part of the reason I, I think this is a great game for me right now. It's very fun. Though I'm assuming it's gonna be more fun digitally, less hassle. You'll give me six teeth for free. I would, I'll pass on that. I've got I've got a I've got plenty of teeth. I've got all the teeth that I need right now. Morris Kingdom, thank you for the two months. Whoop whoop, two months. Otter Espresso, thank you for the mm, ten months. Hamburger. Ballistic 
characteristic. Thank you for the three months. Ian, your latest chip review was excellent. I actually wasn't even sure that I was going to do another. Is there no... I can do some jazz. I didn't realize there was no music here. Uh, give me a second. Mm-hmm. Remember these controls. I'm memorizing them right now. No, I'm not. I'm looking for jazz. It's probably loud. How's that? Let me know if that is loud or acceptable. Per tail, thank you for the two months. Hey, Ian, been having some rough times lately, but it's always nice to come here and chill. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. I hope it's okay. <laughs> Uh, I hope the times get less rough for you soon. Okay, I'm gonna do some washing. Select nozzle, raise lower, tablet, show dirt. Okay, that's easy enough. Refill, equip. Is that loud? It's allowed? Okay, maybe I should have waited. <laughs> I'm turning it down, I'm turning it down. It is accurate though. Power washing, I didn't expect it to be as loud as it, it is, even though it is, you know, powerful. How's that? Better? Same? Okay, what if I... <laughs> well, that's real. How's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, that should be that should be acceptable. for a 12 hour stream today just abyss and I, I don't even look at chat because I'm too busy doing this oh yeah there's co-op that could be fun at some point um Good, good question. Why am I doing this in the garage? That's a great question. Oh, that's the dirt. Show dirt. Show dirt. Sponsored by Cheetos. I can't be sponsored by chips because I need to be able to freely share my chip opinion. You know, I can't be beholden to Chester's, you know, will.
There's a removals van outside my nightmare neighbor's place. They're fine. Oh. Yeah, I can't be controlled by the chips. The blue balls, boy. I do. I Some, I do think I chips somewhere. I just don't know where they ended up. R to rotate. That's gameplay. Yeah, I gotta get I gotta get a new um What should I do for my next food video? I feel like I wanna make something want a hamburger. like pre actually prepare something instead of just tasting. Had any of the chips fallen on the floor? Yes. It's a mess filming the chip video. Make chips. <laughs> I've had a uh, I've had a beef Wellington once. I've eaten. Oh, I didn't make it, but I've had beef Wellington once. It does not seem easy to make. here. Nine Fox Gambit, thank you for the three months. Wow. I wish I had a, I wish I had done this better. I'm not used to streaming on my main computer. The windows everywhere. Colored deviled eggs from Severance. Severance cooking would be interesting. I do like the idea of, of doing another history kitchen. Um, I just don't know what I would make. Oh, snap. Right, sorry, I got very distracted by the uh, by the power washer. I stopped talking because I was very focused on uh, this dirt. It's this car. You got to get the dirt. Um, I'm I'm doing well. I'm trying to fall back into a work schedule. I want to get. I mean, not a hardcore stream schedule, but I want to be back here. It's nice to kind of just hop in and do something unplanned. When I watch old Mystery Science Theater and they make a bad slash dated gay joke, does it bother you? No. No. I kind of like... I mean, I kind of like dated jokes. <laughs> guilty... Guilty pleasure humor. I don't know. I think... I think sometimes dated stuff, if you can handle it, is... It can be startling and funny, uh, in a way. No, I, I don't get bothered by stuff like that. It's a joke. Mm, what a hamburger. Four stars. Oh. I can walk on the clean car because I got... Uh... Oh, I'd love it next I got, uh, I'm wearing like a rubber suit or something. No, I don't have, um, I don't have any new VHS. I don't have room for new VHS. I need to purge my current collection. I have too much VHS. I crouch. 
No P.O. Box yet, but it's on my list. Hold on, I gotta open it. Can't say that I've played Duel Links very much lately. I've been playing, uh, my sister told me about this, uh, mobile game called Fill the Fridge, and I've been hooked on Fill the Fridge. That's what I play in bed. Where's the dirt? Oh, there's the dirt. MJ's adjusting to the house okay. Uh, Things just keep changing, like I'm still setting stuff up, so she comes out, she gets used to how things are, and then I I set up a shelf or something and she's like, whoa. Mm, what a hamburger. Is that dirt? How do I crouch? Oh, it's control. Fill the fridge and is satisfying. The ads, though, a little ridiculous. I've been seeing a lot of mobile game ads. The the berating you trend is really weird. Like they they show you an ad and the voiceovers like you can't do this. You dumb piece of shit. You'll never be able to beat this game. <laughs> to do bumper door tire. You see those a lot? I kind of I kind of like them. They're They do they do make me feel like I I need to uh live up to the challenge. You can't even attempt to try this. Where is it? Where's the dirt? Where's the dirt? Prawn? Oh, I don't want to make a prawn. Is that like a... That's a... No. I'm not a prawn. I'm not a prawn. I like to eat beef, I like to eat chicken, and that's about it. Mm, what a Sweet. I got 150. Oh, look at me go. Nine Fox Gambit, thank you for the three months. Three months, wow. I don't know that this is related to House. I don't know that it's the same people or anything like that. I think it's just similar. I kind of thought that when I first saw this game, I thought it was like a part, part inside of House Flipper, but it's not. It's completely separate. Would I drink a Dunkachino? I don't think so. I drink a coffee. Clean the back garden. Hey Doc, I hope you like a challenge cause I'm pretty sure I've got the dirtiest backyard you've ever seen. That's not me bragging, but to a, I had nothing to do with it. I've just moved back to town for a bit to help my folks who are both down to their last knee, who are both down to their last knee and rented what I thought was a great little place. Should have questioned why there weren't any garden picks in the ad. They must have bred rhinos here or something. Anyway, my girls are itching to get out there and I don't want them still itching when they get back inside. So please do your thing. I'm down to my last knee. Ashura, thank you very much for the 10 months. Happy 10 month Ian, love your chip videos. Jimmy Jam, 15,478. Thank you for the 20 months. Happy 20 months. Hope the unpacking has been going well. Love the newest video and can't wait for some satisfying power washing. I braid my hair, well, I, yeah, occasionally. It's nice to braid my hair to like get it out of my way. 
Sometimes it, sometimes my hair is heavy and it pulls on my scalp and I, I don't like it. But it's like, what are you gonna do, cut it? I don't think so. Obviously not a realistic option. Got some of those popcorn. Yeah, did anybody else try some of the chips post video? I saw a lot of commenters trying the popcorn saying they were good. Using claw clips. Some layers would remove a little weight. Yeah, but I have to go get it cut. Right now, I just cut it myself. Searching for the barbecue. I don't use much hair product. I just I just uh, shampoo it and condition it occasionally. I use the I use the the purple shampoo. That's like a I think it's Australian. I think it's got like a kangaroo on the front or something like that. It's a shampoo, and then they have a conditioner too. I don't know if that's helpful. Oh, you guys know what brand it is. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it seems like hers brand was a really big, popular... A lot of people were surprised that I'd never heard of it before. Like, it's... In some areas, like, the number two chip to Lay's or something. Very popular. But I'm definitely going to look for more. Doesn't Aussie smell like tea tree oil? I have no idea. It smells like shampoo <laughs> to me. It's a big favorite on the East Coast. Yeah, well, there you go. If that makes sense. Okay, how many, how many levels do you think I'm gonna do before I stop trying to get 100%? At some point, four stars is gonna be enough. Too bad I can't watch anything Star Wars related. Happy Star Wars, everybody. It's not my holiday, but you know, I hope it's a good one for the Star heads. What is what is what is the Star Wars fan call? A starry? They finished any of the chips. Uh, almost done with the Uts. A lot of the chips I dumped out of the bag, and then I could only save so much of it. You lose some chips to art in the process. making up the I do wish, I wish there was a way to like, I wish we could separate the washer from the head. I wish I didn't have to look. It's like, you know. eat every one of the microwave meals. I What you see is pretty mo much what you get with the microwave meals. I eat them for the entertainment. Aiming mode is being added in next update. Oh, that's cool. I think that will be a pro. listen to any good music lately um well muse put out a couple songs though they, they were pretty good they're you know the lyrics are they're you know they're muse lyrics but the music is is really good i like the idea of the fondoodler i definitely think a a second kitchen gadget video is inevitable I just gotta find enough interesting things to cover on it. 
did not listen to the new King Gizzard. Copyright <laughs> Entertainment. Yeah, the fun doodle or some it's like a hot glue gun for cheese. I guess you're supposed to, I don't know if you're supposed to build stuff out of cheese or, or what exactly, but it's out there. I used to listen to my uh, Spotify Discover Weekly all the time, but I haven't really been casually listening to music lately. Spotify anymore? What do you use? I remember when Spotify first came out, I was so against it. Is this fence clean? Oh, no. Do I have to get the other side? Apple Music. Uh, my music's Okay, I I did work on a little music the other day. I made a little bit of time to do it. It's really right now making time for it, but I'm enjoying having a little more space for my uh, equipment. YouTube music. I have never used YouTube music, not even once. Pro strats for Mario Party? Oh, waffles! I actually just saw, for some reason or another, in I think in the Discord, we, I was making uh, Veggie Tales jokes, and someone mentioned playing the Larry Boy game, and I was like, I think I have that, and I found it the other day, and I'm pretty sure you were the one that sent it to me. I found your name inside of it. Uh, I have totally forgot what you just asked, but that reminded me. Oh, Mario Party strategies. Win the mini games. That's my, that's my that's my um, Mario Party strategy. Win the mini games. Win the mini games. Abuse Boo, and play ruthlessly. Take no prisoners. No friends in Mario Party. I did. I lost. I lost Mario Party the last two times I played. <laughs> I probably didn't win enough of the mini game. You guys been playing any Switch sports? I dunked on on Switch Sports on Twitter, and then I started playing more of it. And I I still support my dunk, but I have been playing more of it than I thought. Yoshi or a Toad? Definitely Toad. I don't really... I, not that I don't care for Yoshi, but I don't care about him. Volleyball has a bad learning curve. I've been like in, um, I really have just been bowling and occasionally playing badminton, um, which has been pretty fun. It still just feels, I don't know, it just feels light. Yeah, I'm hoping golf will be good. I don't really like having to play the online mode to unlock stuff or whatever. But I have been playing it more than I thought when I initially... Because I initially, I turned it on, I played a round of each of the mini games, and then I was like, well, I guess I'm done. Golf is not boring. You're watching me power wash something. How are you saying the golf is boring? <laughs> is this 
done yet? No. So dirty! I've been watching I Think You Should Leave on Netflix literally every day. I watch through the entire series every day. It makes me laugh so much. I just keep thinking about the table sketch, the dirty tables. I really hope they do another uh, a season. I haven't heard anything about a season three. Golf for this satisfying to watch, but it is. It, eventually, it's like delayed gratification. Will the ball get into the hole? And then it finally does. Nice on. Let me read a thing. I forget about. I can't see the. I can't see everything at once when I have my main game on the screen. Zero. Thank you for the two months. Glad you're mostly settled in, bud. Wish me luck on my move in six months. Good luck on your move in six months. The saucer hovers. Thank you for the three months. Woo. Happy house, homie. Thank you. Uno Bert, thank you for the 34 months. I'm always glad to see you streaming. Golf with your friends is pretty good. I like, um, I like Tower Unite for the, the online golf now because it's, it's got the online golf with so many other games. Will I get a drum set? I will not get a drum set. I can't play the drums. Do I look like the kind of guy that can play a drum? Oh, Go Vacation is dope. I I really want a Go Vacation too. I will not give that dream up. I do look like someone who can play a drum. <laughs> someone told me on uh, on Twitter, they asked me if I'd ever broken a bone. I was like, no, I'm really like I'm a really safe, careful guy. And he was like, oh, you look like someone who would have broken a bunch of bones and bragged about it. I'm like, no. Safety first. Keyboard. That's what I played. I, I can't really play a mean keyboard anymore because I'm out of practice, but that is the only instruments I have are keyboard based. It's a strange thing to tweet. It's not, it wasn't that strange. I had, it was, uh, I just, I, I told people to tweet at me. So they were pretty much tweeting anything, asking whatever. And, I would love a guitar. I would love to do mad guitar solos. Oh my god, you broke your neck in 2004? That does not sound pleasant. I never did anything dangerous. I'm trying to think of the most dangerous thing. Like, where was I the most in danger physically? And I'm not coming up with, <laughs> with very much. I like my feet planted firmly on the ground. I, uh, I'm driving, I guess. You know, I guess I, I do ride a one wheel some Isla for fun. That, I feel pretty safe. I'm still very careful, but I guess that's probably the most dangerous. I mean, I could just 
fall off whenever. But I'm fully padded up. Rode a lime scooter and broke your knee in 2018. Yeah. They're so fun. I did almost get hit at an intersection. But that wasn't me being dangerous. That was just driving as dangerous. I'm glad you watched uh, Severance, Shakespeare. Anybody looking for a show, you need to watch Severance. Even if you're not looking for a show, just go watch Severance. Activate an Apple TV trial and, and binge Severance. Oh yeah, can we talk about Severance yet? I don't know. We might have to have a designated time. Des designated Severance spoiler time. That sucks. Right before you got your promoter's license. That sucks. Archive 81, that was a show that people said I would like. And then I, I think I watched the trailer and it was like, eh. Is a modern game. I'm a I'm a gamer now. It can hard be for me to be hard for me to tell if the dirt is going away on this or if it's. I think it is. I'm glad you're spreading the separate because severance is like I can't talk too much. I don't really don't want to ruin it for people. Started to watch. Oh, anybody watching Barry? New season of Barry. It's been different. It's been different. Uh, good, but uh, very different. This jazz is just epidemic sound uh, stock music. I don't have a playlist or anything. Severance, Crazy Rich Family of Succession. Also a great show. Um, I, I, I wouldn't recommend it as um, enthusiastically as I would Severance. Severance is about, it's a world in which you can separate your, your work and your um, non-work memories. So you you go to work and then basically shut off until you're done with work. <sighs> Good, AJ. Mm, what a hamburger. I'm glad you watched it. Power wash in real life. I guess that could be a stream. I would love to do like yard stuff. I've um, I got a cool weeding tool to pull up dandelions. Um, I'd love to share some of that, but I, I do worry about showing off the outside of a house. And I don't know. I don't I don't like showing off too much, you know. Merry Christmas. No, I, d I don't watch The Stranger Kids. I don't know. I just never. I don't think I ever gave it a chance. I saw it and I was like, okay, I get it. The '80s, and then just didn't. You know, you know. Sometimes I judge things a little unfairly. You know, I know that's a little hard to believe, but sometimes I just say no to something for literally no good reason. But I bet it's good. It was just like peak trend, you know. I was not born in the 80s. How did this get so dirty under the umbrella? 
Yeah, I've got that. We've got that. Uh, the hipster gene. If it's too, if it's too mainstream, I just can't. Uh, it's hard for me to give it a chance. Hipster jeans are tight. Zip, zip. Muse is mainstream though. Muse is, I would say, I, I don't know. Do the kids listen to Muse? Muse is mainstream for certain generations. Music is a little different. Music is less, I can give music a chance way, I can just listen to the song. Listen, don't try and figure out my rules. There's no sense to them. There's no sense to Ian's rules. They just, they are what they are. I don't listen to any, like, I don't, I don't even know what, what's popular music wise right now. Last I heard was BTS. That's why I made a BTS joke. That's the last I heard on the music world. How many OK Go shirts do I own? I think just the one. But I do have a I do have a signed OK Go album, which is pretty cool. Christmas music. Christmas music's pretty. I do like Christmas music. I'm pretty normy about Christmas. Big fan. I did know they were making a that 90s show, which I think is hilarious because they tried that 80s show. And that didn't go super well. Yeah, see, I see the names Doja Cat and Mitski, but for some reason I don't recognize them as even music artists. I think of them like, oh, is that someone on Twitter? Like, who is that? I'm too out of the loop. TikTok music. Oh yeah, is that a thing? You thought Doja Cat was a meme like Doge? That's really, <laughs> it's really funny. That would be, I would probably guess that before music artist. Uh, just cause I'm out, I'm just so out of the loop. Are uh, NFT songs a thing? Harold says yes. Metaverse music. Did I see the awful NFT? I, you know, I think I did see the NFT animated show. It's really weird. I wish they at least picked better art. I love NFTs, okay? I buy NFTs every day. I wake up and I say, what virtual goods could I buy? Are, like, are objects in Roblox technically NFTs? Those are virtual goods that I spend money on. It's the metaverse. They're just objects in there. See, I still don't get the difference. Are RuneScape items <laughs> NFTs? You're not supposed to use real world gold on uh, real, real world money on RuneScape.
I should do an I should do another Roblox stream. NFTs have oh right, they gotta be on the blockchain. I forgot about the blockchain. Sorry, I forgot about the blockchain. Isn't Kickstarter like we we gotta get on the blockchain? Have we had any Someone said Sonic characters. Have we heard anything about the new game? Has there been any information about uh, the? Isn't it an open world Sonic game? Because I'm I'm very interested in that. I am using a lot of water. Does it matter? Does it count how much water I use? There's not a drought going on. Just shoot water everywhere. It's fine. Oh yeah, I saw that they were doing like a Netflix show. I didn't. I didn't even watch Sonic Boom. Or the. I still haven't seen the movies. I, I really feel like I should watch the movies, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I'd rather watch. I think you should leave for the fiftieth time. I caused the California drought. Listen, my house has got to get clean, okay? This fence is filthy. Sonic just needs his own... Sketch show. That's the. <laughs> That's how we solve this problem. I missed a rock. Did I? I'm using my janitor senses here. It's a great song. What are the odds that the Mario movie is any good? Are we placing bets on that yet? I really hope, have they said, is, is, are they gonna do accents? Because I really want everyone to do accents. I really want bad Italian accents. He's so cool. Okay, it's looking good. Oh, shit. I, Mario's name better be Mario Mario. Like, yeah. Is it going to be more entertaining than the live-action Mario Brothers? Now, I'm not going to say better. I won't debate whether or not the live-action Super Mario Brothers movie is good or not, because we all know that it is. Will it be... Which one will be more entertaining? The live-action one is so weird. I love it. I gotta read some things. Ukami 145, thank you for the prime sub. Asher 13, thank you for subscribing. Ruska Dust, thank you for gifting that sub. Super Sprello, thank you for subscribing. Rojo 777, thank you for the three months. Always love when the Moose Man streams. It keeps me sane at work. 
Danny Beach, thank you for the prime sub. Coloring Book Dog, thank you for the 27 months. Leighton Rampa, thank you for the 52 months. Happy Wash. I can't stay for the stream because of work and horrible office whiffy. I loved your last chip video and I'm happy someone else thinks the layers chips smell terrible. I sure do. Have you guys seen the old Mario movie? I see that someone else has good taste and likes it. How many of you have actually seen it? Okay, good. Good, good, good. I wonder if it's worth talking about. Do you think it would be worth talking about nearer to when the uh, the new Mario movie comes out? Definitely. Merry Christmas, everybody. You saw it in theaters? Oh, man. I remember a friend of mine had it on uh, VHS, and I remember watching it and being like, what the fuck is this? I'll consider it. It's one of those things that I, at one point, felt overdone. I don't know if the, the internet, we went through a phase about that movie where everyone had kind of seen it and knew about it, but it'd be great. That one, best version of Yoshi. Yoshi should have just been a realistic dinosaur in everything. It's December in this game. It just doesn't look like it because, I mean, there's not a drought going on. Opossum Plays, thank you for the 16 months. Sir Trivium, thank you for the two months. Hey, Ian, just saying hi. Thank you, thank you. This is actually what... It feels like my car, I have like a teeny tiny car and I'm like a not a teeny tiny guy. And yeah, Merry Christmas. What do you guys want for Christmas? If you had to pick your Christmas gift today, what do you get? Nail polish. That is an attainable gift. A back massage. You can't put a back massage in a box. It has to be something you can put in a box. Switch OLED? I do. I drive a, a Honda Fit, as seen in the movie video. New apartment. You guys have high expectations for Santa. I mean, I know he has a magic bag or whatever, but how's he supposed to fit some of this shit in there? Magic. Turn of mystery tape. Santa can't, can't do that. Steam Deck. That's a good one. That's what I want. I think I'm supposed to be able to order my Steam Deck in June or something. I'm like a Q3 guy. Mystery tapes, but hosted by Saint. PS5. What are you guys playing? You got a PS5? What are you guys playing on PS5? 
I know they're in demand, but I don't know like what games are hot. What's the hot exclusive? PS4, PS4 game. Well. Okay, Gran Turismo 7. I always wanted to play more of those games. I feel like a, a driving game like that would would gel with me, but I never really got into it. Halo. Halo's not on PlayStation 5. I don't know that I'll get one. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I don't. I don't really know what's out on the PS5. But what about the Xbox? I used to be such a gamer. Now I'm. Now I just play Power Wash Simulator and <laughs> fill the fridge. recent Xbox I have is a 360. I, I don't even know past the 360 what the Xbox releases are because they became like Xbox Series X, Xbox S Series X, Xbox S, I don't know. Yeah, S, Xbox Series X. Just, whenever one gets Shinmu 4, I'll get that one. Oh, it's fucking filthy. Isn't there a ladder in this game? There probably is. That's... Would make a lot of sense. I did, I tried to memorize the controls when we started. I, I didn't really do it. <laughs> Waiting for games to buy a console. I used to be the exact opposite. I used to just get so hyped about the next system and just, I needed it immediately. I think the Wii U is where I really started to learn that, <laughs> to learn that lesson. Dreamcast 2, is that what, is that a Christmas gift? Let's ask Santa for Dreamcast 2, I'd be on board. I wouldn't be able to save up for good games either. I couldn't restrain myself. I would buy really cheapo games just because that's what I could afford instead of waiting just a little bit to get a better game. I have the Blackberry. I'm not currently using it. I kind of switch around phones. I, I, I like to switch up my phone. Why do games seem like they'll be more fun on the Steam Deck? Because you can play them on the pooper. Supreme Rat, thank you for the 32 months. Hi, Ian, I liked the chips. Did you end up finishing the blue balls? Did not. If you did, what occasions did you consume them at? I consumed them for a chip review video, and that's about it. King Hippo 19, thank you for the three months. Uncle Tech, thank you for the 30 months. Always a pleasure, Captain Moose. Max, Honey Bee, thank you for the nine months. Holy moly, nine months. I've been born, thanks. Lemon Lori, thank you for the 11 months. All this time I thought you were getting a jump on May's videos. Mm -hmm. 
which time? You mean my my moving? What pesto pasta? Is anybody else eating anything? What are you? I have the Steam Link. I still have the Steam Link. I still have it. And I have the Steam Controller. <laughs> Power wash, audio too loud. I can take the change. Just ate a meal from HelloFresh, which was a miss. I think I'm having HelloFresh tonight. Started playing Switch from your CRT. Yeah, I like I like putting uh, Roku and stuff on my CRT, but it's impossible to read anything on it. Steam link to stream movies with friends. Interesting. It definitely seemed like something that had some uh, unique uses. I just never really used it. Thank you. Happy Star Wars. Who's um who's wearing Star Wars cosplay right now? I'm assuming people get dressed up for it. Is anybody decked out in like a Yoda costume? Just go about your day regularly, but as Darth Vader, your Jar Jar Binks in you. I liked Jedi Academy. I liked Jedi Outcast. Those are my two biggest Star Wars things. I just never really got, uh, I just never really got into it. Psycho Emu, thank you for the 10 months. How fortuitous. Today is my birthday. Woohoo, happy birthday. Also, my 10 month sub renewed on the day my mom passed five years ago. She would have appreciated that. Hope you're doing well. May pop back in after I get my dad some Twinkies. Take care, Ian, Brutal BF, MJ, and Chat. Thank you so much. Obla Notes, thank you for the 33 months. Happy many month sub anniversary. Excited for some washing with power. I'm never gonna catch up on all these donations. There's no way. There's no way. Or these sub subs, it's, it's not happening. Yeah, if you right click, it toggles off and on, but sometimes I don't really use it. Sometimes I just do the left one and it, it stays on. Unless I'm accident. I could accidentally be hit. That could be my fault. Ooh, you know, Lego Star Wars, I did play back in the day. Uh, I did quite enjoy Lego Star Wars, the uh, the original game. See ya, not John. Okay. There's like. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! I had to check how many of you people were here. More than should be. Wasn't sure how many people would turn up for a power washing stream, but I shouldn't be surprised. Do I like bicycles? Um, bicycles are fine. I, I don't, I have one. I have not ridden it in forever. Uh, 
A new year, a new Star Wars. I gotta get my retro computer stuff set up. I'm gonna do that after the stream, actually. I'm gonna set up everything so we can get back to uh, some retro games. How do we feel about uh, modern stuff, though? Would you guys like it when I play modern stuff? Should I consider doing that more often? Or should I go back to the uh, retro land? Good mix. Modern is better. Well, that's not an opinion that I accept. <laughs> Chiltra, do a no-death Elden Ring run. I do not think I could get out of the menus of Elden Ring without possibly dying myself. I'll leave, I'll leave that one to you. Yes, you know, we have actually been playing the Bug Snacks expansion yesterday. Oh, we started yesterday. I don't have an opinion on it yet. I, I have I have some thoughts, but I they're I need to see more. They're mean thoughts. <laughs> I think that might clear up if I uh, see more of the. Yeah, they did. It's it's like a bug snacks. It's strange. It's not like DLC. It's like an update where they added this whole extra thing in the middle of the game. The way they did it is a little strange. One of my hang-ups with it. Hated it? You 100% of the game you hated it so much? I liked it. I definitely liked it the first time. I haven't played it. I just watched. But, um... I, I quite enjoyed it. What else is... Oh. Hurt. I like the... The house. Like, having your own house. And uh, getting to get items for that. I think that's a cool idea. I'll help you get better from COVID. Merry Christmas, too. That's what I wish for Christmas. For you to get better from COVID. Merry Christmas. Never heard of Bug Snacks. I don't know even how I would describe that game. It's like like Pokemon if you had to catch the Pokemon with physics based puzzles uh, not no not not really Viva Pinata it's very narrative driven um, kind of like Pokemon snack maybe I don't know Ape Escape with food bugs. I see, I didn't play Ape Escape, so I can't, um... I've seen Viva Pinata, though. It's not, it's not quite Viva Pinata. It's not like a simulator. Surprisingly story-driven. I didn't expect that from it when uh, we first played. Most of the bugs are dumb, easy, and the ones you had trouble with were mostly not working. Po a po it was definitely a little... Buggy, <laughs> um, but I do, it does seem like they've improved stuff with this large update. They've definitely improved frame rates and stuff. It was real laggy originally. You can't boo my bug puns on Christmas. It's Christmas. Wow. 
Pizza Skeleton, thank you for the 23, 24 months. Washy washy, somebody wash me. It's not John, thank you for the 20 months. Ali Faith, thank you for the three months. Rose Flavored Bong Water, thank you for the three months. Hi Moose, three months, a sub, but a lurker for years. Thanks for all the goofs and gaps. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, I like my water bottle. You gotta stay hydrated. Never got around to Sonic Mania. I'm like a almost strictly 3D Sonic guy. Like I, I played Sonic Advance 2 really the main 2D Sonic that I played. Overwhelmed with all the games you feel like playing? I feel like I'm the opposite. I feel like I go so long before a game really jumps out at me. And then when it does, I go crazy, like, with Shinmu. I should really be playing some more smaller indie games, honestly. I'm really excited for the new Cosmo D game. Whenever that's gonna come out. I've not played Subnautica. People's, isn't that, that's something that people say gets scary, right? I don't like to be scared. I'm not a I'm not a fan about being scared. I never really got it. I watched my boyfriend play Yakuza. He played Yakuza 0. I don't know how far. The game is huge and so long. I have no idea how far he actually got on it. But it was fun to watch. I don't I don't think it's something that I would want to play. I do. I have to answer I answer this question a lot. I should just play the game. I should just play the game just to stop the questions. That and uh, with Hypnospace Outlaw, I literally don't know if it's anytime anyone asks me about Hypnospace Outlaw, I have no idea if they're being serious or not. I don't I never know how to interpret it. It's not a problem or anything. It's kinda of funny. It's funny that I will I will avoid things that are so supposedly on brand. You know, it's like people insist that it's on brand for me and that makes me avoid it. I still haven't seen uh, Tim and Eric for like that exact, everyone insists that I had to have seen Tim and Eric and it makes me just not, just not wanna watch it. Yeah, Hypnospace was not my kind of game. I, I had to have Todd help me get through that. Just because reading, reading and retention is not my not my strong suit, and that game was a lot of reading. Avoiding stuff seems on brand for, it is. It's unfortunate, but it's true. I haven't finished, um, the Shinmu anime. I stopped because I was playing Shinmu 2 and I was like, I gotta stop watching the anime so I can finish Shinmu 2 first. And then I didn't finish Shinmu 2, so I didn't finish the anime. Um, which again is also very on brand for me. Let's see you, Shakespeare. I didn't move out of state. I'm still in Washington state, by the way. It was a small move. I mean, Compared to my other moves, it was a small move. I'm actually really excited for Christmas. I love decorating for Christmas. And I love the music. Yeah, how much, how much do they get into uh, Sh Shinmu 3? in the anime because they 
They had a little bit of it in the intro. They had a little more of Shinhua than I thought they were gonna have at the beginning. I'm not detuning the audio. I was hesitant to try the Shinmu anime. It's still, it's. I still think it's bizarre. It's existence, the fact that the Shinmu anime exists at all is just so weird. It's really, really... I think people must have been way more into the story of Shinmu. Like, I don't have a problem with the story of Shinmu, but I don't think that it's the biggest draw to the game. Um, like the overarching, he's got to kill Lon B. Um, I was just reading yesterday, there was a Reddit thread of bitching about Shinmu 3. Um, and one of the complaints is that he didn't finish the story. Like, I don't know. They're just gonna fight, and he's gonna win, right? So th just the idea that they made an anime to, to retell a story that's, you know, it's fine, is just so strange to me, it's so weird. Twitch is weird and suddenly speeds up or slows down if the stream is trying to buffer. Is it my fault? Can I fix that somehow? Shut up and I'll bust your face was not in the anime. Okay. Yeah, from what I saw, it was kind of funny. Like it was, it was the, it, it had nods to the, the game. I think it kind of knew what it was. It was bizarre, but in an entertaining way. I, I, I ended up enjoying it. I just wanted to save the rest of it for when I finished Shinmu 2, which never happened. Shinmu is kind of like a low-key JoJo story. See, I don't know the story of JoJo. That's fair. I, it's. I think I think it's a fair complaint, but I just I don't think it's as big of a deal. Just because Shinmu three felt pretty. I mean, I spent so much time in Shinmu three doing stuff. It didn't really feel light or anything. For games struggling to, for its to fund its total completion, you think they'd want to get the story done? Eh. Eh. Maybe he thought. Maybe he was just hoping that it would do well, and then he could do Shinmu Four. People really want that conclusion. We'll see. I got I definitely have to replay it. I haven't played Shinmu 3 since the stream. Yeah, Yu Suzuki said it was gonna be like five or six games or something. Shinmu 2 has a lot of story. In defense of that argument, Shinmu 2 does have a lot. Shinmu 1 is not. I mean, you get a little bit. You do learn more. Shinmu 3 is definitely the lightest. But I, sp I feel like I spend so little time in the actual story and so much more time doing the side stuff that the side stuff is more of a story to me than the actual narrative of the game. Where is the dirt? Where is the dirt? Cupcake Buggy, thank you for the eight months. Eight months. Eight is my favorite number, and you are my favorite streamer. Hope you're having a super amazing week, and also, and I also hope you have a phenomenal stream. Thanks for being awesome. Press escape, and it will show what pieces I'm missing. 
Oh. Control panel. Oh. Gas wow. supply. Oh, and you gotta be thorough. <gasps> Hope I'm enjoying one of Square Enix's best produced games. What does that mean? Is, are you referencing this game? feels like a prank. I feel like I'm being pranked right now. Square Enix did indeed publish this game. Well, that's odd. Go do the dishes. Fishy, turn off my stream and do the dishes. You're not allowed to watch my stream until you, the dishes are done. I wonder what the story behind that is. How do you how did they get into publishing this? Food shelves. Birdhouse. No, you're not allowed to watch the stream while doing dishes. That is an unacceptable condition to watch this stream. You're allowed to watch my stream doing anything else. In the, in the middle of performing major surgery, that's a perfect time to watch a Brutal Moose stream. While doing the dishes, absolutely not. What child is, what child is this? What's my go-to Mickey D's order? Great question. Man, I could I could go for a, a Mickey D's right now, actually. Great question. Um, I used to love the two cheeseburger meal. I really liked their little cheeseburgers, but I really have been enjoying their chicken their, their chicken sandwich. I, I, I get a chicken sandwich from pretty much anywhere now. I just, I love a good crispy chicken sandwich. The current one. I, I wasn't, um, the current chicken sandwich. I know that they had another chicken sandwich that people like, really enjoyed, but I don't, um, I was not familiar with them. Live next door to Mickey, Don Mickey D's and can't eat them anymore. Mickey Donald's. New house is pretty good. Um, it just takes way more effort to set up a house, you know, than I was expecting. Moving just takes more time. I always think, I always think I'm just gonna get something done right away. Well, you know, I'll, I'll be totally moved in the day after I get there. It'll be fine. Yeah, Burger King is not better than McDonald's. That's, uh... Yeah, Burger King's pretty bad. You have video games, which are kind of cool. I haven't been to Popeyes in, a, in uh, quite a while. I'm 
really big into Taco Bell now. I didn't used to be, but man. I love a good Taco Bell. I should stop eating trash. I was never a um, a Burger King fan, even when a child. I just, I did not like the Burger King. Taco Bell is not the lowest. Taco Bell is high quality, authentic Mexican cuisine. It's like going to Mexico every time, every time I have Taco Bell. It's like I'm really there. Oh, raising canes is great. I miss I, I miss canes. They don't they don't have those up here, or at least not that I've seen. Del Taco is pretty. I ate a lot of Del Taco in college. They opened one near my college, and they were super cheap, so I went there a lot. Every time they forget your... It should be illegal for Canes to forget. Canes without the sauce is okay. But... It's like it's like required. Hanging potted plants. Fence posts. Fence tops. I tried to make my own imitation. I, I used to, uh, when I moved, I followed some recipes to try and make my own cane sauce, but it just wasn't the same. Just, I couldn't, I couldn't get it to taste the same. I don't see any dirt. Fence, retaining wall caps. I'm trying to sense the dirt. Oh, there's some. Oh, I see some under here. My favorite dipping sauce? Ranch. I put ranch on everything. I love I don't, I wouldn't say that I've seen a ton of A&Ws, at least not, I usually, when I see an A&W, it's like a combination, it's like an A&W Taco Bell or Pizza Hut or something like that. Fence post. Do I abide by my ranch list? I'm sure I do. I don't remember what I said in my ranch list, but I'm sure it was all great stuff. <laughs> Just great stuff. Man, Kane's had that the Texas toast too. I would always get the coleslaw swapped out for an extra bread. Fence post. I like KFC too. KFC just needs some more sides. My problem with KFC is that I want to get something that's not so heavy as a side. Like I need, I need something else. No, Texas toast is just like Texas toast. They invented it there. Yeah, Texas toast is just like a really thick white bread toasted and usually butter garlic. And you're definitely not allowed to call it French. Texas toast doesn't. It, it won't like that. Uh, I'm going crazy looking for this dirt. Fence post. What happened to 
Arby's. Arby's sucks. We used to get Arby's um, occasionally because of their cheap deals or whatever. And I would always just get two or three large curly fries. <laughs> that was my dinner. Okay, I'm gonna have to tap out on this. I, I cannot find... I cannot find the dirt. Mm, what a hamburger. Golden Corral. What the fuck? Fence post retaining wall oh, cap. Wow. Fence gate. Okay, I have to give up. I have to give up. Someone come over here and force me to give up. I know that that's what I have to do, but I can't physically make myself stop looking for the stupid dirt. Finding the last percent is how every stream of this is. <laughs> I get it. Like, I I could just move on to the next. Oh, was that dirt? No, I keep thinking that this is dirt. And then I get closer. No. Crouch to check the undersides. Corner inside the stair. It says fence post. Oh, well, I see some dirt. It was on, uh... Oh! I see more, I see more over there. I've been pressing tab. I'm, I'm I'm smashing the tab button. Oh! Okay, fence post. Oh wow! It's this one. It's this one. Dingo ate my babies. Thank you for the 42 months. Alley Cat 31, thank you for the 19 months. Hey, yesterday 1 2, thank you for the 200 bits. Happy hump day. Booze Cannon, thank you for the 31 months. Jimmy San 2, thank you for the 33 months. 2H Fan Club, thank you for the 56 months. Thank you for those bits. BLT 24. Oh, here I go. I'm Anoda. Thank you for the 70 months. Baloney Davenport. Thank you for the prime sub. Super Sprello. Thank you very much for gifting those 10 subs. And I am, you know, I'll catch up at some point. I still got a lot of things to read.
I, you, I bet your gift, if I have not read your thing, it's because I just have a backlog of stuff, um, which happens when I haven't. Yes, Psycho Emu, I got you right here. Thank you for gifting those two subs. Oh, definitely going to do the playground. Dirt Finder. I've got a frankly ridiculous situation on my hands. You see, some of the local children have been coming down with a curious and unsightly form of dermatitis. And a few fretful folk have been putting it down to the condition of the recreational facilities. It's all nonsense, of course, but if we could just humor them and give the whole thing a thorough hose down, I would be most grateful. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very engaged. It's really, it's mostly just because I, when I don't stream for a while, I just get a bunch of messages when I come back. It's, it can be hard to stay on top of. And I don't want to sit here and, you know, read the whole time. Tried the cotton candy balls. I can buy more nozzles and soap. Where do I do that? Ooh, shop. Thank you. I actually did not know that. This guy is an asshole. Who, the guy we're working for, or me? Uh... Ooh, I like that. How come I can't buy these? Custom styling, light duty. I want to get, a. Uh... Maybe I should get nozzles. Zero degree nozzle. Start. I'm just gonna start buying stuff. Soap nozzle? How many jobs? I've completed two jobs. Oh, wow. I sure hope those were good things that I bought. I gotta get the base washer. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. I should save up for that. I should stop. I shouldn't have spent any of that money, actually. I should have just saved for the next washer. like soap soap goes by quickly I have no soap wait Do I have to choose which one I use? Try plastic cleaner. Soap is too confusing, you know? Soap, even in real life, it's like, who wants to use soap? How am I supposed to use this? Yeah, there's co-op in this game, which I think is uh, actually really cool. I'm gonna have to have, find somebody to come power wash with me. Crab balls? Utz makes crab balls. 
I've, I've only eaten crab semi recently. It was pretty good. Not really my thing. I like that butter is a, a prime feature of eating crab. I, I liked that. Yeah. But I'd probably just rather eat a spoonful of butter, you know? Nice butter, butter delight. Yeah, you never just eat a spoonful of butter as like a, a, a nice treat. <laughs> butter dipped in sugar. Mmm. It's something I would try. I know that at the state fair, they someone does deep fried butter. I would try deep fried butter. It's a health food. You want to grease up your veins so the blood can move through it faster. You got to keep those veins nice and buttered up. How did you like deep fried butter? Is it good? It sounds great. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a health expert. Margarine, oh my God, I, I used to, I, I was a margarine man growing up. We had, a, uh, we had, I think, uh, what, what's it called? I can't believe it's not butter. That's what we stocked. In fact, I remember having a spray version of that. Like, a, you could spray the fake butter onto things, and I, I, I enjoyed that as a child as well. Not my thing anymore, can't say. Uh, but, you know, it's a memory. How is it not living with rats? It's great. Much better than living with rats. I can say that. Oh, I love mayo. I like a light mayo. Sometimes, the thing is, I feel like I love mayo, and then I'll order something with mayonnaise on it, and it's like they dumped the entire jar onto it. I like a, a light layer of mayo. Rats, rats... I'm not going to say it's why I moved, but it, it factored into the decision for, for sure. Ooh, garlic ale is great. I don't know what kind of mayo you're talking about. I know mayonnaise. What percentage of my decision to move was based on the rats? I don't know, maybe five. It was, it was a, you know, it was a low factor, but it was a factor. The general uncleanliness and um, work that that house needed was definitely a motivating factor. Yeah, only five. Basically, it's more egg yolk based instead of egg white. No, I've never had QP mayo. I've never heard of that before. I love ketchup. I love ketchup. Ringo Buns, thank you for the 21 months. Ian, you are not stinky. Doubt. 
Kaixer. Thank you for the 38 months. Banana roll salad, the sequel. See, I think I think that's not a bad idea. I think History Kitchen might not be a bad option. I have a uh, I have a video that I a uh, uh, concept that I came up with that I really want to do, but I don't know that I'll have time to do it before um, my next sponsorship thing is due. So we might do food video first, and then I, I might circle around to that because I'm gonna want to spend a little extra time on it. No, I'm not cut up at all. I'm very distracted by uh, power washer. Ketchup is gross? Yes, big, big video. Big video is dead. I mean, back burner is a back burner is a friendly way to say it. Can I release the big video on my second channel? It wasn't the th it wasn't done. Like it was not anywhere close. The amount of work that it took just ended up being way, way. I thought I would just you know, hammer it out as a little quick little quarantine project and then it, it hit like six hours and I wasn't even halfway done and it's like, holy shit. Did it feel good to kill it? Not really, because I know I'm gonna be asked about it forever. It still feels like at some point I'm gonna have to do it just so it can get done. Um, I, I, I regret mentioning. I shouldn't have, I'm very confident. I do it all the time. I mention things and then I uh, am not able to fulfill. I just got, I just got very excited about it. MJ's doing okay with the move. She's, she's a little scaredy cat. She just needs some more time. Right, I keep forgetting about rotating the, uh, oh, what was that? No, you can't know what it's about. It goes to the grave. Actually, I'll probably have to do it at some point, but... For now, I, I haven't the time. Getting a cat... You settle into your new place. Anything to be aware of? I don't know. Not really. Honestly, I was really paranoid about getting a cat. I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be like a ton of work and really hard. And I thought I was gonna. I don't know. Kill it accidentally because of, I, I don't know how to raise a cat. But it turns out they just kind of hang out. <laughs> you just kind of hang out and you feed them and play with them and uh, you just give them attention when they want attention. Oh, one thing I would have wanted to know uh, earlier is is uh, the cats don't really they're, they're not good at communicating when something's wrong really like her she had her um, bladder stone or whatever and she had to have surgery to get it out and I still wonder how long she was like dealing with that before I finally caught on to the, there being a problem. Um, that would be the one thing I probably wish I knew ahead of time. Yeah, you gotta watch their bladders. You gotta watch just kind of if they're behaving weird or if they're being weird with their pee and their litter box. That's like a red flag that I wish I had noticed earlier, um, but now I know. No, MJ's not old. She's like, I think she's three right now.
Yeah, if you're worried about the pea stone, they say wet food. She's on a wet food diet now. She is not is supposed to have um, treats or anything at all. Yeah, the wet food smell is nasty. She stinks. She is queen stink now. How does no hard food affect teeth? I'm not sure. That's a good question. I just did what the vet told me to do. I think the idea is that cats don't always drink as much water as they're supposed to. So you give them wet food to, to get their hydration up. Kind of wet food? I don't know. We're getting too technical here. It was a, it's like a prescription. I, I had to, she had to get a prescription to get this food. I don't know what it's called. It's pea food or something. I don't know. Easy pea. they make cat food intentionally stinky so people won't eat it? I have never heard that before. Uh, I love it. I have never heard that before. She really, she was, she really liked chicken, and then she changed her mind, and now she really prefers this fish, wet food. Oh my god, she just stinks. And I'm pretty sure she knows that she stinks, because after she eats, she immediately comes over and, like, sits on my lap and breathes on me. I think she does it on purpose. started to demand in the morning. She wakes me up in the morning, right? And now her new thing is that she digs at my covers. And what she wants me to do is roll over on my side and let her under the cover so she can like cuddle up. And it's just so cute. She's turned into a little cuddle bug. My blankets aren't really scratched up, no. She, the the comforter on the bed, not the comforter, the, the base sheet on the bed is, because she likes to play uh, in bed and she, she likes to play fetch when I go to bed. She likes to bring a mouse toy and then I throw the mouse out and she brings it back. But she like grabs onto the edge of the bed and goes crazy. So there's uh, little holes in the sheet. Oh yeah, she knocks stuff over. Stuff's gonna get knocked over. You gotta keep your valuables and breakables on, a, on an inaccessible shelf. I didn't know that cats played fetch. I, I've, I've heard more cases of that since uh, talking about it, but that was that was uh, I was shocked when she started playing fetch. do that as a kitten so cool. you're a little nervous I think it'll be fine 
I think if you do your research and, you know, just the fact that you are worried about it means you'll probably take good care. It's way less of an effort than I was expecting. I didn't get a cat for a really long time just because I, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't trust myself to be able to take care of one, but I mean, compared to a dog, it's way easier. For me, at least. Fits, fits my lifestyle more than uh, having a dog. Welcome to the stream, trash baby. My secret streams. Cats don't need to be walked, but you do have to play with them. And honestly, playing with cats can be a little frustrating, because uh, she's extremely picky about how you play with her, when you play with her. I think sometimes she just wants me to be down there trying to play with her, and she doesn't actually want to play. She just wants me to be doing that. My arms are covered with scratches. If you ever see scratches on this arm over here, I feel bad because they're just so, you know, they're not placed in a great area over here, but this arm does get really scratched up and it's it's from MJ, uh, we wrestle. Nice to know some of this behavior is not just unique to MJ, it's just a cat thing. Uh, I, I will never look back though. I'm a cat guy, I'll, I'll get another cat again someday. So where does this rank on, you guys prefer this to House Flipper? How do you feel about Power Washer versus House Flipper? I feel like I've been playing enough to start making that comparison. I think getting someone else in here would be great for a co-op. I think I'm with you, Flowery. I think I might like the variety in House Flipper a bit. There's a lot more to do, but there maybe you get more to do as you play. Visiting Seattle. I'd like to visit Seattle. Sounds nice. This is gonna take me forever. This this one location. I thought it was gonna be a lot easier than it is. There's a lot of dirt. Coin game, you know, that's another good option. I have not... How much have they added to coin game? I haven't played since the the survival update. I, it's been forever. I should play more. I did not move states. Did not move states. The stream is going to be a Brutal Moose bedtime classic.
It is relaxing. It is relaxing. This is more of a... It's kind of like... More of a chill truck. I'd rank it kind of along with chill truck. I know I need to read more stuff from the subscribers, like the subscription things, but... I'm cleaning this... gonna be tough for me to stop. I'm, I'm that kind of guy that when you start something like this, it's really hard to rip me away until it's done. The map on the screen next to me. Uh, it's not, you know, I could have been more forthright with the moving information. It's normal to have questions. I like, honestly, I, I like the, I think I like that last 3%. The hunt for the last 3% might be my favorite part of this so far. part is frustrating. See, that's what I like, though. That's what I like. You gotta have that frustration so when you finally get it, you get that relief. It's just another version of no hints. Yeah. Yeah, it's like hitting yourself with a hammer. That's that's also just as fun. Didn't like... Used to like easy jazz. Jazz is great. I really... I Honestly, I don't listen to a ton of jazz outside of history. I I think I listen to more classical than jazz, actually. Oh, right. Rotate. Thank you. I do forget about the rotate function. What's up, Holly Don? Oh, you know what? I have a question for you guys. I'm starting to make lists. Now that I'm getting settled in my office, it's time to start thinking about what I'm gonna, what kind of stuff am I gonna make and do? Um, Streams. What streams are you guys... Do you feel like you're waiting for? I should have done, that you're hoping that I do. I have a notepad here with ideas I'm going to write them down. Oh, this is great. Sims. Sims. Lots of Sims. Adventure games. Ripper. I'm still down to try Ripper this um, October. I know I didn't. I didn't quite make it last time. But one of these years. <laughs> one of these years it'll happen. I've not played Broken Sword. I feel like I've heard the name. I'm not sure what it is, though. Broken Sword. Which trucker game? The, uh, the PS2 one? The... Was it Mother Truckers? What I have no idea. I don't remember what it was called. 
Ooh, Roller Coaster Tycoon's a good one. I love Roller Coaster Tycoon. You'll be happy to note that on the top of this list, not that this indicates the order that I'm doing these, but the first one I wrote down was episode. Monkey Island. I never played Monkey Island. Sonic Heroes. Sonic Heroes is the next one in the list, right? I was playing through them in order. I think Heroes might be the next one up. I'll write down Zoo Tycoon. Zoo Tycoon's not my favorite, honestly. I have not seen, I haven't seen the first Sonic movie. I still haven't seen the second one. Um, I think it might take a little while for you to link into the Discord. I don't know. You have to, you have to make sure that your Discord and your Twitch are linked for sure. Listen, I could, I could get over my disgust of pirates for the right game. It's not, you know, it's not a deal breaker. It's just almost a deal breaker. <laughs> yeah, I still struggle with Discord too. Figuring it out. How it works. I've heard of Road road Trip Adventure. Maybe I haven't heard of that. I'll write it down. Yo, dude! Tonka. Oh, you. I actually have a ton of Tonka games. I've only played the one myself, but I own a lot of them now. I am Cracker Jack. Thank you so much for the $7 and change. Hello, Moose. I have so many streams to catch up on, I haven't even gotten to the moving streams yet. But dropping by to say congrats on the moves. Happy to see a new snack vid come out. Loved the first one, and this new one met the already high standards. Thank you so much, Cracker Jack. I appreciate it. What's wrong with vampires? Vampires are cool. I mean, depending on... Depending on the interpretation, I suppose. Oh, you know, I always wanted to play Destroy All Humans. If I play Destroy All Humans, I'm going to get it on Xbox. Yeah, you saw me remember Twilight. <laughs> you saw me think about, oh, vampires are cool, and then remember that they're not always cool. Yes, P.O. Box is on the list. It is, I really, I'm not going to tell the window of when I want to get it done, but I, I... It approaches. Have I played any text movie games? I want to say that I have. No. No. No, no, I haven't. I'm thinking of something else. It looks cool, though. Get a crane game stream where they mail you real prizes. Oh, you want me to do like a Tareba stream or something? That'd be interesting. This is dangerous. 
spent $200 on Tereba. I've spent probably too much money on Tereba, honestly. It would be way more tempting if they had better prizes. I feel like the last few times I've gone to browse Tereba, it's, nothing looks worth attempting. Rotate the spray head with R like this. Just use donations from the stream to pay Tereva. I don't know. I don't like that. I remember an episode. I remember everyone donating for me to buy uh, gems. I remember anytime I got cold feet or something, suddenly there was money. Suddenly there were funds for episode points. I don't even remember how it worked. Group streams? I think that'd be fun. Yeah, gambling on stream is... You know, I, I want to have fun, but I also don't want to encourage too many bad habits, you know? Tereba's kind of like on that line where... It just feels like such a an addicting thing. We'll see. Did I write down coin game? Yes, I wrote down coin game. How do I feel about Nintendo 64? I love the Nintendo 64. Shinmu gambling. One of these days I'll play through Shinmu again. It's gonna it's gonna be a while though. Got the brawl. What is Brawler 64? How do I hook up my old consoles? Um, it depends on where I'm playing them. Usually it's. How long did it take me to get back to Bully? I've actually been. It's weird that you say Bully, because I've been. I almost started playing Bully yesterday, almost just for fun. Um, I usually use, when it comes to streaming, I, you have to use an upscaler at some point. Because you gotta get the... You gotta get the signal high enough for it to be captured by these uh, capture cards. I like the Dreamcast, I don't have a ton of experience with it. Sonic Adventure... Um, probably my favorite game on there but I didn't have one until later and really the only games I've played on it are Sonic and Shinmu well Shinmu might be yeah yeah so Shinmu is it's I have to say that Shinmu is better than Sonic Adventure my childhood self doesn't like that I just said it but it's just the truth Not much of a not much of a Zelda. I never really played. The furthest I got in a Zelda game was uh, Link Between Worlds. I did really like that. I just didn't finish it. See, I like watching them, especially the old N64 ones. I like watching the Zelda games. It's just not something I ever really got into. I'd maybe play Jet Set. I don't have a ton of Jet Set experience or Odd World. I know that Caddy really likes Odd World, but I, I don't really know anything else about it. Assuming it takes place in an odd world. Mm -hmm. 
that he was in an Onworld game? That's badass. Maybe I'll play... Mi oh, I already wrote down this. Will he ever stream Miss? The mystery continues. I don't know. Di Diablo is another game that I really don't know anything about. I couldn't even tell you what type of game Diablo is. Dungeon Crawler, Hack and Slash, Gear Leader. So is it kind of like, uh, is it kind of like a gauntlet, but like one player kind of a thing? Yeah, if I play Mist, I'm gonna have to do Ribbon. It's like Gauntlet with 500 times more mouse clicking. I did like Gauntlet. Gauntlet's one of my favorites. Gauntlet Legends was a good one. Was that a port of the arcade version? Grim Gaming 115, thank you for the 13 months. I could watch this game all day. How long is it? it uh, it's been like an hour? How long have been Oh, it's been two hours. Cheers for changes. Thank you for the four months. Ian, thank you for all the amazing entertainment over the years. You are truly a national treasure. Time does go fast from power washing. I did say it would be a 12 hour stream. I wasn't serious at the time, but no, it's not gonna be a 12 hour stream. I can't believe I used to do that those long of streams like I start getting worn out three hours in now I'm probably just out of practice I guess for a while there I was really I was really stream invested for a while there ooh seventh guest is a great I've never played the 11th hour. The 11 hour advanced stream is a journey. I'm sure I had all my wits about me at the end. I'm sure I was still pretty sane. What was my longest Shinmu stream? I want to say my longest stream ever had to be... It had to be something Uncharted, right? It had to be Uncharted 4. Night Trap. I actually haven't played Night Trap. These are all good. I needed more I needed more stream ideas.
My I've not seen such bravery intro. People, uh, people still miss that. I forget about it, honestly. No, Uncharted 4 I did not beat in one go. I remember specifically because leading up to Uncharted 4, I streamed 1, 2, and 3, and they were... I did the games in one sitting, like I played one in one sitting, two in one sitting, and three, and I was like, I'm going to do it for four, and it ended up being way longer than the other ones, and I kept going, am I almost done? Am I almost done? Should I keep going? And eventually people were like, no, please stop. Please stop. Those were good times. Uncharted 4 is almost 15 hours. That might be both of them combined though. Did I did I upload it part one, part two? If so, it might not be my the Nancy Drew one might be my longest stream in that case. sun is out outside. I don't like it. Have I ever played the learning company game Star Flyers Alien Space Chase? I don't think so. That does not ring a bell. Will I repeat the Nance games I already played? I... I'm not opposed to replaying any that didn't get archived, but I think if they got archived, I'll probably just move on. I think there was one... Was it Alibi and Ashes that didn't get saved? Something like that? Oh, Tony Shock, that was great. I wouldn't hate um, a hidden object game. I'm gonna write that down, actually. I have Nancy, the, the two Nancy Drew hidden object games. DJ Blackout, thank you for the three months. Hey, Ian, hope your new house is treating you well. Oreo the Sailor Cat, thank you for the prime sub. Cybernator 2, thank you for the seven months. It's Moose in time. Say hi to my mom, Robin, please, and thanks. Hi, Robin. Yeah, I did not al like al Alibi and Ashes, but maybe it would be better since I've already done it before. Merry Christmas. Wanna be Buble. I like your name, Worm Scrawler. No celebrities here, though. It's just me. It's just me. I'm just Ian, number one Christmas fan. You know? I can write down Barbie games. I have more Barbie games. I do enjoy playing them. Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why your joyous strains prolong? It's bubbly. What the gladsome tidings be? Am I excited Let for the Barbie movie? You can't say that I am. Is it... Is it like a documentary kind of a movie? Like, is it a true story about, like, the creator of Barbie? Or is it... Is she... Is it actually about Barbie? my ladder just playing the character okay so it's just live action Barbie yeah eh. I liked uh, life in the dream house oh there's I'm being watched by a gnome 
If they did a Barbie Life in the Dreamhouse movie, that I would actually, I would probably watch that. Extension. I only. Oh wait. What? How did I get more money? I own the extension rods. How do I use them? Thank you for that advice. I completely forgot that you had to like attach the attachments on. Little sushi roll. Thanks for the 32 months. Moose! I'm making a breakfast burrito for lunch. What's everybody eating today? I haven't decided what I'm gonna eat today. Maybe a breakfast burrito, that sounds good. Would the soap help me with the ground here? I don't think this is effective. This is working. <laughs> Whopper Wednesday? I used to do Taco Tuesday. I used to do Taco Tuesday and we'd do, uh, Pizza Fridays, but that's not, uh, doesn't have an alliteration, really. Are there any Barney games? I don't know. Probably. I don't have any. Yeah, I thought that this might be, pl I guess it's more rubber. And I guess it doesn't work on the inside either. back to just Thursday is pizza and beer night enchilada day oh I ran out. I can't really see my soap it's kind of hidden by my windows toolbar if that makes any sense I feel like if I did Arthur games, I would have to have PBG guide me. I have uh, at least one of the Arthur living books, but that's it. You don't subscribe. Nobody subscribes here. It's not allowed on my channel. Hi. 
Well, you know, I've been watching, um, I've been watching my boyfriend play through the Telltale Remaster Sam and Max games. I'd never really seen those before. They're pretty good, though. It's reminding me of doing the, when I played the Homestar Runner uh, Strong Bad game forever ago. I don't think that one was archived. But I remember that stream. It's also weird that Telltale like folded or whatever. They were so big at one point. I haven't seen the older game. I wasn't aware that they only had the one old game and then the Telltale series happened. I thought that they had more games than, than uh, the old one. I, yeah, I heard that. That they're are they the they're the ones doing the these remastered ports? It's like ex Telltale employees. They have a a, a new kind of company. Oh, that's true. I guess I guess Adventure Games had kind of like a resurgence moment there. I might be stuck. I'm not gonna say that I'm stuck, but I will say that I might be stuck. See ya, Pocket Bear. can quit and come back using the sprayer to knock your friend out of there and go up listen I need it needed to get clean down here it, you can't just not clean under the dinosaur um Set. I still think that I'm going to be able to get out of here. I got in. I can get out. This is not a nutty putty cave situation. We will, we will make it out of this. Ah! It's getting clean down here at least. Shoot myself with the power. What if I try and use the the momentum of the power washer to jettison me back? It's like this guy never cleaned a dinosaur. Okay. Okay. I'm bailing on it. Oh. You're right. I think I can just bail and come back. Clean the dirt bike. This seems easier. Gallant Silver, thank you for the 11 months. Hers is a great brand. Cinephilia, Cinephile Railroad 93. Thank you. Thank you for the 100 bits. Too bad you can't power wash anything Star Wars related. Today is May the 4th, AKA National Star Wars Day. Not in my country, I don't recognize. Oh, this is gonna be a little bit easier.
Yeah, the playground seems like a co-op situation. That's that was a lot of dirt. Dar, thank you for the 57 months. Hey Ian, can't watch the stream right now. Currently waiting for the flight back home from my vacation here at Disneyland. Hope the move was smooth and that everyone is having a great Star Wars day. Where's all this water going? Onto the bike, obviously. Who comprises the Bureau of Tape? It's just me in a in a different outfit. I just put on a different shirt. And I, I eat the chip and see if there's a difference. Your arm would be cool. I don't know. Well, it wouldn't be the worst thing to have as an arm. Dude, I gotta, I gotta age up soon. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm gonna turn 30 again. CS Runner 26, thank you for the 53 months. A hotly debated noise in our household is pterodactyl. What noise do you think a pterodactyl makes? Thanks for being our unbiased third party. Well, they don't make any noise because they're all dead. But if they were alive, I think that pterodactyls probably just sound like the, a person. They probably just sound like some guy. They probably go, you know, hey, or something. They go, pterodactyl, pterodactyl. That's how they named them. Pterodactyl. Cosman Dude, thank you for subscribing. Black Voot, thank you for the prime sub. Kareem Abdul Jamama, thank you for the prime sub. Scraft97, thank you for the prime sub. Yeah, they're a Pokemon. Unsubscribe with birthdays. I'm just good with 30 for now. I'll just stick with 30. I at least got to the point where I wasn't, I didn't want to be uh, 25, two. 25 is, I was too different at 25, too long ago. Where the fuck is the dirt? Oh, there's the dirt. Oh, that was so much easier than doing an entire park. Oh, where did my video go? Can I can I rewatch the video? I missed it. Twenty five is fine. I just meant for me. I don't want to do. I don't want to go back to twenty five. Twenty five to thirty was a big. You know, it's a big, a big change for me. Blazel Alk, thank you for the four months. Hope you're having a great day, Ian. Good to see you. I'm doing pretty well. Gonzo the Platypus, thank you for the prime sub. Super Junior Trash, thank you for the 24 months. Peachy Rose, thank you for the 37 months. You're fixing a GameCube while watching. 
Do you like refurbish old consoles or something? That sounds cool. I've never seen the inside of a GameCube before. You can't just tell me that you're getting Raising Cane's when I'm over here saying, I miss it. I miss it so much. You're going to brag about it? Say hi to Kane for me. <laughs> That's really cool, Alex. Katie Zelda Cat, thank you for the five months. What is this, a modern game? Love whatever you do, Ian. Love the chill vibes. Every Sunday, thank you for the three months. Burnt your thumb while solder. Man, I wanted, I really need to learn how to use a soldering whatever. I bought one. Because I, I, I need to do some old electronics. I really got to remove a battery and replace it with a newer battery, but I'm just way too nervous to actually do it. Not heard of the Moop and Dreadly games. Right, soldering. Right, right. Placing old batteries on SNES and Game Boy games. Oh, yeah. I forgot that they had their own batteries in there. Buying junk to practice on is actually a really good idea. I was just going to get the nerve up to do it myself and just do it immediately on the my precious piece of equipment. But that's a much better idea. Three copies of SimCity on the SNES. It's not a bad idea. I'd never considered that. I like to tell myself that I always think things through, but uh, sometimes I get impatient. Power wash your cat after? I don't think so. I don't think that's a good idea. Man, fixing old consoles is such a good idea. It makes me want to go to the thrift store. I haven't been to the thrift store in so long. Purchased a box copy of Roller Coaster Tycoon and it had a proof of death certificate. Did you keep it? That's a fun, uh, fun little find. Yeah, see, if you're out to repair consoles and fix things up, man, your thrifting gets much more exciting. There's way more things to find of value because a broken console isn't really valuable. I can't fix it. This thing is never gonna get clean. Sour grapes, thank you for the 27 months. Ian, really liked your latest vid. I'll be lurking while I walk to work. Happy power washing. 
Kasindra, thank you for the prime sub. The RPG Quester, thank you for subscribing. Oblivious Meth, thank you for the 14 months. Is this how you honed your power wash troubleshooting skills? It sure is. No, it's not. Do you guys drink your water ice cold, or you drink it like room temp? My new fridge freezer actually has an ice maker, so now I have... I get to keep ice in my water bottle. It's, it's revolutionary. Room temp, I'm always chugging it. See, I'm always chugging it too. I like it so cold it hurts. I want, I want to, to feel the chill. Yeah, mine too. It's great. <laughs> I actually don't like I not that I can't drink room temperature water, but I will largely refuse it. I would rather dehydrate. I'm very particular about my uh, water water temp. Yeah, room temperature water does taste dusty. Oh my god. <laughs> you like your water straight from a pressure washer? Cat's doing fine. I'm assuming she is asleep under the bed. Still a little afraid of the new house, but she's getting there. Yeah, I don't like old water either. Though it is better if it's cold. Like if you're gonna give me, you know, if, if, I, if I had some old water and I put some ice in it, it would get better. It, it still would be old water, but it would at least be cold. I used to leave, like, I was crazy about water cups as a kid. I always had a really tall cup of ice water. And then once it would, once it would get not cold, I would just leave the, the cup there and go get another cup. And so I just was constantly leaving a trail of half-finished water cups throughout the house. Do I 
wash my water bottle. I try and I try and run it through the uh, dishwasher whenever it. I don't know. Whenever it like smells a little bit, you, you can kind of tell when it's like time. It gets washed a decent amount. Though. I just use it so much it, it needs to be kept clean. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. Those like those pure filters. I used to have one where you put the pitcher in the fridge, and I don't think, especially moving up here, the water is so good. I don't think it actually filtered anything out of the water, but just keeping the water in the fridge made it cold and, <laughs> and better. So I'm the, I'm the same way there. Destayina, thank you for the 24 months. Almost two years. Love the last video. Also watched the Shinmu anime, and all I could think about was your playthrough of it of it. Not enough lucky hit. I still have not... I'm assuming there's some lucky hit in the anime, but I haven't gotten there yet. I think. Yeah, that's where I'm at. This this uh, house came with an ice maker, and it is, it's a game changer. Yeah, the Brita was the Brita was more um, in Texas. I definitely needed it more than I did here. The move was good, bud. How's it going, bud? Is that a dirty trash can? Yes, it is. Gonna have to wrap up soon. I'm getting, I'm getting hungry. I've yet to eat, and it is past that time. Avdo Deluxe, thank you for the 74 months. What do I even say after this much time? There's really not not much more to say. What am I gonna eat? I'm not sure. I might have a uh, I might have a hot dog. The Stash Cat, thank you for the 28 months. Have a good Star Ward today. Happy sub anniversary to me. Bologna in a tea. I love hot dogs. I wish I could eat a hot dog for every hour of the day. Just give me a hot dog. Or as I like to call them, health dogs, because of their known health benefits. Yeah, that's why I eat them. Long, you know, science proves that you can live a longer life to eat copious amounts of hot dogs. I'm not as big on the chili dog. I like a plain hot dog. I just, I like the bread and the dog. Keep it simple. If I, if I want to get crazy with it, I like ketchup and cheese. But most of the time, I like just a plain hot dog. I do not like the big sausage hot dog. No, I like the small regular. In fact, I don't. There's a, there's a level where the hot dog is too fancy, and it's no longer a hot dog. It's something else, and it's not what I want. Costco dogs. I actually, that's the hot dog that I think I'm going to have. I have some Costco hot dogs in the fridge. They're just waiting for me. Favorite hot dog brand? I don't think so. I 
I usually get the, uh, just like a ballpark Frank. I think that's the brand. If you know what if it's, if, if you know what it's made of, then it's not a hot dog. That's a good rule. Russian Storm, thank you for subscribing. Lex613, thank you for the 64 months. Great to see you, Ian. My husband is haunted by those blue cotton candy balls from your last vid. Thanks for giving me another way to mess with his mind. Ooh, I do like the, the fancier Oscar Mayer Angus ones. Those are ones that aren't too fancy, but they're, they're a little nicer. They won't let anyone who isn't a member get food? That's pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure they do that in our... In the Costco's around here. Because the food court is separate from the place where you got to show your membership. Think. I am. I'm streaming. I'm streaming today just for you. Why do you have to be a member? So you can get the good deals. They can't just give these deals to anybody. Sour kitty. Thank you for the 18 months. Ian, I'm still hunting through your backlog to find Goro's donation alert amount. I'll find it eventually. I believe in you. I believe in you. I like this game so far. I think it's all right. I'm not sure that we'll see it too much on stream. I feel like I feel like House Flipper just feels like it's got a little bit more going. This is great if the if just the cleaning part is really satisfying to you. I can see how this could be a really uh, enticing game. I think I prefer the House Flipper. I don't think it's related to House Flipper, but I'm not sure. It's it's the same genre, at least. this applause for texting in the middle of the stream. Pocket Bear Illustrator, thank you for the 32 months. Another month, another sub. I hope you guys are settling well in your new place. As you get better, the washers get more satisfying. I just wish I could do something else too. I wish I was doing more than just... This would be great co-op. I think next time I, I stream this, I'll probably try to rope somebody else in. Because uh, the fact that it's co-op is probably... Dude. Somebody found it. Oh, you. But the fact that it's co-op is probably the most intriguing thing about this game.
Pepperoni Pizza Men, thank you for the $7 and change. Remember to watch your VODs, kids. Showing off. Thank you so much. I think I, that the Goro alert is, is maybe that and Shut Up or I'll Bust Your Face are, are two of my favorites. Ooh, I just found out that I'm having steak for dinner. Get jealous. Shut up was a jump scare for me at one point. It is very uh, jar. It can be very jarring. What happened to hot dogs? Well, I pitched hot dogs. I just pitched hot dogs. That's what I'm doing on my phone over here, was pitching hot dogs. And I got told no. Which I didn't like, but then I got told steak, which I did like. <laughs> barbecue, barbecue, barbecue. I'll save my Costco dog for tomorrow. We just have some thin, like thin steak. We have an we have an indoor grill. I bought it. I think during the during it was during the pandemic. Because we really liked going to Korean barbecue places, but couldn't do that anymore. So we got this crazy indoor grill. It's like a smokeless grill, and so we like to make rice or noodles and then grill some thin meats on it. Oh, it's gonna be so good. This one's not like a George Foreman. It's like a, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's weird, is what it is. Let me see if I can figure out what model the, it is electric. Yo, dude! Yo, dude! Oh, you. Um, I want to say it was like an, it's like an infrared grill. It like heats with these really bright red lights. You can't look directly at it or it'll hurt your eyes. Uh... Looking for it. What was the brand? It's like a. Hmm. It looks like they have different types of it. So I don't know what the brand is. I'll have to look up next time what brand I have. But the idea is that you have this metal grill and it has these two red lights that point up at this grill and heat it up. But directly under the grill is a cold tray. So when the meat drips juices or whatever, it lands on a cold tray and doesn't smoke or anything like that. It's, it's wild. It's really weird, but it's awesome. Maybe I can include that. I could include that in a kitchen gadget. But I mean, that's the thing. It's, it's kind of... I don't know that it would make it for a good video, but I could mention it in a kitchen gadget video. I do love gadgets. I just love gadgets in general. It's not Gotham Steel. I can't figure out. Oh! I think I found it.
Yes. Okay, it's a Philips. Philips smokeless electric infrared indoor grill. Is the one that I have. But like I said, it looks like there's a bunch of... It, it looks like this is a popular thing now, so there might be a better model out now. I did have a George Foreman in college, though. George Foreman all the time. Yeah, it's really bright. That's the one, like, it's the one weird thing where it's, when you, if you have, if you use it with company or something, you have to say, okay, now we're going to use this awesome indoor grill, but don't look at it. Uh, and it can be it can be hard to tell if the meat is cooked because of how it lights up red. So you kind of have to you know be careful that you're cooking it enough or not cooking it too much. Just because the lighting is it's like the selling point, but also a drawback at the same time. Don't <laughs> look the grill in the eyes. Oh, uh, Seattle Arcade. Um, well, the only one I really knew about just closed. Uh, food. If I if I could go get food in Seattle right now. Man, that's actually, I thought I was going to have an answer by the time I reached the end of that sentence, but... I would go to a sandwich place that I used to love, but it closed down too, so I can't recommend that either. Oh yeah, another castle is gonna be, that's a good good call. Another castle is still open and in the area. I would probably go to the, I, I hate recommending the market to people in Seattle because it's, it's like the, the tourist attraction, so I know that you're already probably doing it, but that's where I would, I would just find the food in the market. Someone in uh, in the Discord is there, and we were talking uh, Poroshkis. Poroshki, Poroshki. That place is good. I unfortunately don't have broad Seattle experiences. I'm the kind of guy where I'll try one thing, decide I like it, and then refuse to try anything else. So I found the things I liked there and I did them over and over again and you know I, I really need to go back and try some newer things oh I wanted to go to Biscuit Bitch so bad I've not been to Biscuit Bitch but I've heard great things how do I pronounce Turing Turing getting roasted yesterday for how I say crown 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 it's like the penguin thing again Peng penguin I've been to Portland a couple times I really honestly I miss Portland Retro Gaming Expo I think it's happening this year I don't know if I'll go but I really want to I miss conventions which is weird because I kind of swore off conventions at one point how do I say compass moose? Oh, I hadn't considered that. Are the game, I guess game prices are crazy. Can you just, are there not as great deals? I've, Portland Retro used to have you really used to get some good game deals there. That was like the biggest draw to going. Mm, what a hamburger. I went as a, I had a meet and greet table. I did, um, 
Just the one? I think I did... How many panels did I do in total? Two? I did one at SGC. And I did one at Portland Retro. I think those might have been the only two times. I really did not like it. I <laughs> really did not like it. I uh, It always went well. And at the end, it, I felt like I did a decent job. But oh my god, I just got so nervous leading up to the panels. Yeah, I see people talking about how insane uh, Pokemon game prices are. I wonder if I have any of the rarer ones. I don't think that I do. I only own a couple of Pokemon games. I got Pokemon Red. How much will that give me at, at PRG? I got Red, I got White, and I got... That might be it. Do I have the Poker Walker? No, I don't think that I do. Interesting. I wonder what the rarest game I have is. How much does Conker's Bad Fur Day go for these days? I remember that being a hot item for a little while there. People even care about Conquer's Bad Fur Day anymore? People might not care. Round a hundo. GameCube and PlayStation taken off? Man, I would like to collect some more GameCube games actually. One forty three loops, that's pretty good. Well, I have that. I've got Conquer's Bad Fur Day. What else is rare that I have? I remember Illbleed being a little pricey when I picked it up. We don't have much of a schedule tonight. I'm going to wrap up soon eventually so I can go eat. I just, it's hard for me to stop when I'm power washing. <laughs> I think I said I was going to wrap up like... 15, 30 minutes ago, and I just haven't even made the effort yet. Mm, what a hamburger. Man, I really would like a Game Boy player, actually. I, I eyeball those sometimes, but I don't think I could buy one unless I got a steal of a deal on it. Per tail, thank you. For the seven dollars and change. Hey, I also know this one. I miss, somehow was I talking through these alerts? Rat bastard! Thank you for the seven dollars and change. Mm, I am a hungry rat munch crunch. Thank you very much. If you just get the base, you can homebrew the dis. That I could live with. I could live with that. I want the hardware, but it is the complete set that's hard to get. Someone's looking for the go- Oh, right, right. Okay, so, yep, I remember that. I remember that. My memory, man. Sometimes I hold on to things, but most of the time it's just like... Here and gone. Bing. I remember one friend having the Game Boy Player. I don't remember Sid. I don't remember that being a very popular accessory, just in my group at least. He plans for GURB videos. I'm gonna write him. Oh wait, he's actually on my list. 
I took stream ideas, by the way, but I also have video. If you want to pitch out really anything you want me to do, now would be a good time to do it because I can write it down. GameCube GBA link cable. I actually have, I know that I have four of those. I have four of those only because of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. And I guess um, Animal Crossing. Fast food chicken sandwich taste test video. Thanks, Iced Tea Kitty. International food. I had definitely the next chip. The next chip video probably needs to be an international chip video. I'm not getting anything. Here's the thing. I'm not getting shrimp. I'm not getting crab. If it's near the ocean, I'm not that interested. I'll eat calamari. And I'll eat fish and chips. Other than that... It's too aquatic. Yeah, it's from the sea. It's not for me. I'm a land creature. Ooh, I did like Zelda Four Swords. That was a fun game. That was a game that would, uh, yeah, fun, but also make you really mad at your friends. The best kind. ice cream video, like just, just ice cream in general. Oh, the VHS, I have not collected, actually, you know what, I, I did get a single VHS recently. My. My aunt was helping my grandfather clean out some stuff. He was getting rid of, rid of some VHSs, and they asked me if I wanted any, and I accepted one, and it was Christmas Vacation, so I now have Christmas Vacation on VHS. That was my big VHS gift lately. Actually, that's not entirely true. I, I had to ship it to a friend. I bought something on eBay, but it was mid-move, so I got it shipped to a friend instead, and I just remembered it. I got a VHS for a cooking video. It, it's gonna be like a world's collide. Mystery tapes meets brutal foods. I completely forgot that I did that. Mystery food brutal tape. Yeah, I'll have to come up with some. I'll have to come up with something. I wonder if I could dra dress half of Chef Ian and half as Ian McMystery. Hey everybody, I'm half Chef Ian Brutal Foods and half Ian McMystery. Ian's <laughs> one tape. Meals for me. Maybe I could do a craft project with the tapes I want to get rid of. I don't know what I'm going to do with the tapes I want to get rid of, honestly. It will be filmed on V... I don't think filming Brutal Foods on VHS is going to happen. I, I need, for Brutal Foods, I need so many different camera angles. I need a bunch of cameras. And filming on VHS is a challenge in and of itself.
But maybe. And now that you've said it, I'm going to consider it. So we'll see. Music loud? I can turn the music down if the music's loud. I have not forgotten. Let me, I'll read a little bit more. Sorry, I'm, I should be getting through. 81 Octane, thank you for gifting a sub. Rojo 700, or 7,777, thank you for gifting those two subs. Autoclave 239, thanks for gifting the sub. I feel like the subs, the gifted subs just popped up. Because it says I skipped over all of them, which I definitely didn't. Ruskadust, thank you for gifting that sub. These people, thank you for gifting subs. Super Sprello, Super Sprello, Super Sprello, Super Sprello, Super Sprello. Thank you for gifting those subs. Turn the music up to 200%. I think it was just the, uh, the song. I think it was maybe just a loud song. Less music? I'll turn it down. It doesn't help that I mumble. Sometimes I'm very loud and you can you can really hear me and then other times I'm more bum 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 bum. Balamis TV, thank you for subscribing. Xmike20, thank you for the 15 months. Dr. Cone, thank you for the two months. Just recently rewatched all your videos and had a blast. Thanks for the quality entertainment. Oh, you know, I don't think I ever... I think I addressed this in my, uh... My Discord. But the My Magic Dog video has been blocked on YouTube, unfortunately. Sad day. It got blocked like a, on a manual. Someone must have submitted a manual claim on it because it got a manual review and they... It's just, I, they just, they'll, they'll pick a clip that they think is too long. So I probably just used a clip that was a little too generous. Did I bring it up? I don't remember. I barely remember that video, but it... I remember liking it. Locked box? Oh yeah, yeah, you know, I did. I watched the clip. I watched the clip that I got, that it got claimed on, and the clip was him smashing the box open with a bat or something like that. Power washing's going pretty well. I should stop, but we're not there yet. I'll try. I'll try to appeal it, but the fact that it was a manual uh, review kind of says to me that it's not. I might just put it somewhere else. Um, like my my Lula 3D video. You should be able to find on my website, actually. If you go through like the video page and find on the season and click on it, they all take you to YouTube except for that one because it got pulled. And so I just put it up on the website. I'll just, I should just, I'll just do that. I don't even know why I'm pondering it. I'll just do that. I'll just put it on my website.
Oh, there's uh, there's not ads. I don't care about the ads. I don't give a shit about the ads. I just want the video to be watchable. If they just claimed it, if they just claimed the video and took the ads, I wouldn't do anything about it. That's what I would do if I was a copyright guy. I've not drawn a dong in the dirt uh, because I'm a professional. And that's the one thing a, a professional power washer never does. That's what sets the novices apart from the pros. And it's your ability to restrain yourself from drawing dicks in the ground. I have, you know, I have considered making like ad sections, but instead of real ads, they just advertise my own shows or something like that. That's an idea I had for the website. I just ran out of time to work on the website, really. You can see Drew and the dongs in the dirt. I don't think this it's ever gonna get clean. Brett Va, thank you for the 37 months. Ian, loving the content, brother. Keep it up, friend. And do my best. Infernal Bard, thank you for the 18 months. Lupinian, thank you for the five months. Tiny Pob, thank you for the prime sub. Eden Envy, thank you for the 24 months. Boogie Elephant, thank you for the 11 months. Ah, it's Moose in a new hoose. Loving the more regular streams recently, especially as you must be super busy. I felt bad that I did not stream before this, actually. I really thought I was going to be able to make it before the chip video came out, but I just ran out of time. I am behind. I'm sorry. I've been power washing. Honestly, doing this, the RuneScape stream and this stream have both been good because they kind of it's nice to know that I don't have to do like a fully realized stream I can just hop on and play something which obviously is obvious but you forget it when you don't do it very often I'm always like I gotta I gotta produce it it's gotta it's gotta be a complete thing blah 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 Yeah, it's hard for me to accept. I know that it's true, that people just want to hang out. It's the same way with my food videos. Like, I think... I think I got really convinced that I had to work really hard on making every food video just super hilarious. And if it wasn't just bust-a-gut funny, I was like, well, what's the point in posting it? And I said, well, because people just want to hear me talk about food. <laughs> and that's hard for me to accept. See you, chickens. Any more hungry, man? Uh, not, not immediately. You're telling me you haven't been watching this game? I'm offended. Your eyes have not been glued to power washing simulator. <laughs> I try the spicy Mountain Dew. Maybe the the coffee Coke really got me nervous about the drink. The drink tastes. I did not. That did not go down well.
I really do want to try and do more uh, cooking preparation things soon because as much fun as the tasting things are, it, it's a little samey from the production end of things. Spicy Mountain Dew is weak. Yeah, was it even spicy? A spicy drink does not sound good to me. History Kitchen probably come back, yeah. I, I do want to do more of that, for sure. I just need to find the right... Again, the, part of the reason I stopped doing History Kitchen was because I stopped finding just way ridiculous out there recipes that I really wanted to try. I felt like I couldn't find anything interesting, and I forgot that, well, you can just make it interesting. Even if the food itself... I'm not someone that's that interested in food, so of course I'm not going to be fascinated by it, you know? Duh. Disaster Pokemon 1, thank you for the two months. Just got off a 13-hour shift to find you live streaming. I'm pretty thrilled. Electric Pickles, thank you for the 25 months. What's your favorite dipping sauce, Ian? I think I answered that two hours ago, but ranch. USA right now, honestly, I think USA has ramped up the weird flavors and stuff because of like youtuber reviews and stuff i i'm pretty convinced that they just put this weird shit out just so people will cover it online and so i kind of like am part of a machine unwillingly but we need each other <laughs> yeah stuff like the sour patch cereals and the weird there's a bunch of like candy cereals and weird ice creams right now. Psycho Emu, thank you for gifting that sub to Cheeseburger Vampire and that other sub that you gifted. Persian Air, thank you for the nine months. Zarasen, thank you for the 19 months. Dismal Niche, thank you for the prime sub. A study in amber, thank you for the six months. Pan Goro Goron, thank you for the 47 months. That is the cleanest slide I've ever seen. Hyena Slime, thank you for the 43 months. Wow, 43 months, that's so many. The playground looks very clean. Good job, Moose. Mark Marcus 16, thank you for the nine months. Visiting Seattle with my partner, it's been a very busy three days thus far. Goon 124, thank you for the two months. Two month. The start of hopefully long time to come. Mochi donuts? That sounds great. Wendy's Frosty cereal? Yeah, I don't know. That almost seems too easy. The, the really weird flavors doing a, a whole video. I don't know. See, it's the same thing. I feel like the companies are trying to get me to make that video. So I'm naturally resistant to it. Not saying that it's a good thing. I'm just saying that's how it feels. Oh, I love bubble tea. Give me a coconut bubble tea. Get some boba in there. How is this thing not clean yet? KFC cereal? <laughs> scared me. Not the KFC cereal. I heard it I heard a door close. What would it taste like? Well, yeah. Chicken cereal? I don't know. I don't think the point is for it to be good. I think the point is it just for you to be so curious. It's like the, uh, it's like those mobile game ads I was talking about that try to bully you into doing it. It's like, do you dare eat the KFC cereal to find out what it tastes like? Dude, whatever happened to bacon? 
The kids don't talk about bacon like we talked about bacon, you know? The kids are all vegan now. Yeah, I guess it became normie. Yeah, I guess it was normie pretty quick. Because even back then it was like, well, yeah, of course bacon is good. Yeah, it's good. Bacon is good. Yeah. I should try and, like, catapult the reputation of some food. What's an underrated food that I could uh, make a trend? Conspiracy by Big Bacon. Hot dogs? Do, do hot dogs need the attention? I thought everybody loved hot dogs. Plain hot dogs. Okay. That sounds something more that requires um, someone to advocate for it. No, I would not stand up for oatmeal because oatmeal is only good in a cookie. This chat was goobering over hot dogs, but it is a very, you know, we've, we've got a very focused chat here, you know. Nobody likes hot dogs like this chat likes hot dogs. If I tried savory oatmeal, no, oatmeal sucks. And people that like oatmeal should leave. <laughs> Just get out now. I will not. It's too mushy. It's too, it's too, it's too smushy. <laughs> get out of here. Your mom sounds right if she's saying that it's too smushy. It's just weird. Oatmeal's just weird. Is it mushy or smushy? Well, it probably depends on the consistency. It probably ranges from mush to smush, you know? You're drinking oatmeal? See, the fact that you could say drinking oatmeal instead of eating oatmeal and it'd be the same thing is kind of illustrative of my point. <laughs> Haven't you met the oatmeal for me yet? I never will. I'll never give them a chance. Oh, did you say oat milk? Listen, I'm not here to read. I'm here to power wash. You can't expect me to read the words. Lorlin95. Thank you for the 200 bits. Can we get a crane game stream? Oh, I answered this was two hours ago. Thank you for the bits. No, oatmeal cookies are right. You can put, that's, like I said, the only place it belongs is in a cookie. Oat milk is better than milk. Ugh. See, if we get too much in the food opinions, I'm going to have to start banning. I'm just going to have to start banning people out of the chat. There are no alternate milks. Milk, like, ravages my stomach, and I still refuse to substitute. Whole milk or no milk. I did lactate for a while, and then it was—it's just too much effort, man. I'm just—I'm just used to my stomach getting wrecked from milk, but I just accept it. It just is what it is. 
my stomach is pretty easily obsessed. For someone who makes a living eating disgusting foods online, my stomach is extremely sensitive. It is I have a very fragile stomach. It's fine with hot dogs, though. You know, hot dogs never give me a problem. What do you what what qualifies as a superfood? Am I allowed to to call hot dog a superfood? I think it's it's pretty super. You get at least a couple nutrients from a hot dog. I'm writing hot dogs down on my idealist I'm just putting hot dogs I actually already had a hot dog idea so this stream is just really uh, reinforcing that idea the music has stopped are there any hot dogs made from oatmeal? No? I'm just saying, I think that if you ate a hot dog for every meal, it would be fine. I think that would be okay. What do you think the rule... Okay, here's an idea. Here's, a, here's an idea to twist a current food format. What if I tried to make my own, if I wanted to try and make my own frozen meal, I wanna make a meal that I freeze and then I reheat later. How long does it have to like keep? What should the rules be for that? I feel like I should try and um, challenge Hungry Man by making up my own frozen meal. How long does that have to keep? I'm talking like full prep. I'm not talking like prepping ingredients. I'm talking like make them into little, I want to make a box. I want to make like the whole, the whole thing. Six months. Man, that would be, that's a time investment. Has to be made in package with no freezer burn. That could be fun. Well, don't give me all the advice now. The fun will be that I don't know what I'm doing. If you instruct me on how to do it, then it won't be any fun. Six months is the standard. Because I'd want to, it would have to be, you know, it would have to, it would have to have more. I'll think about it. Dainty men. Yes, that, that would be my meals. Dainty men meals. No, it's just gonna actually just, I'm just gonna boil a hot dog, put it in a bun, and then stick it in the freezer. And that's gonna be my, my frozen meal. I do that to keep myself from eating hot dogs too fast. There's no way this, if I have to wait six months, it's not happening. It's, it's not happening. 
In fact, knowing that six months is the standard, you can probably just guarantee that that video is just not going to happen. A lot of ideas are just ideas. They're not all ideas become videos, you know? Aren't hot dogs big on those triglycerides? It sounds futuristic. Triglyceride? Sounds like, you know, I'm assuming that's a good thing. If it's in a hot dog. 12 Enigma, thank you for gifting that sub. Alex Droid 3000, thank you for the prime sub. Worms Crawlin, thank you for the prime sub. I am the Twig, thank you for the two months. Thank you for the bits, Tegan Cirrus. Arctellus, thank you for the four months. Gothic Novella, thank you for the 44 months. Toot Pets, thank you for the prime sub. Oh my god, I'm actually almost done. Donut, thank you for the four months. Loved the latest chip video. Pinky Jamigar, thank you for the three months. Hello from the void across the TV. Seeing you play Power Washer Simulator brings me powerful joy. Happy splashing. And Tim Henson, thank you for the four months. Hey, hey. Oh, shoot. It's been three hours and 45 minutes. Let's just go ahead and hit the, uh, let's just go ahead and hit the four hour mark. We're right there, right? Halloween count. The Halloween candy ranking video, I barely even, I barely even remember. Uh, did I just sit down? Did I, was it, I must have. I must have just sat down and live tasted the candy. I don't think that was one that I prepped ahead of time. Interesting. I'll have to think about the, uh, the candy video. I didn't think I was going to do another one, but now I kind of feel like I want to. Televoid. Um, the latest episode was posted, uh, you know, a little while ago. And that's the last... That's the latest update. <laughs> the, the latest update. I have tried some of the weird Kit Kat flavors. I love Kit Kats, actually. Oh, I, I don't. I've tried some. I, I don't know that I even remember what those. Are. I like a regular plain Kit Kat. I mean, I like. I just want a regular one. The the. Weird flavors are fun to try, but they're not something I would choose as, like, a treat. It's like an experience, you know? Like I said, I pick the one thing I like, and I don't like it to change. take five and I might not have had to take five since actually that's not true I was gonna say I haven't had one since the candy video but that's not true I've had many take five since the candy video I don't even know why I entertained that thought <laughs> I have not had the spicy Mountain Dew I haven't had the the space cokes either Game Pups, thank you for the prime sub. Well, we got like 15 minutes here. What's our last, What? Is, what is our last topic? We got 10 minutes. What's our last topic of discussion? We should move on from the hot dogs. I've talked about hot dogs a lot. I've been trying to draw a little bit. Um, like I, 
I took such a long break with drawing that it's so frustrating getting back into it because I'm so rusty that I get frustrated. But I have been trying lately. It's just been really slow. Draw hot dogs. I was working on that uh, that snack bar pick forever ago. There was a hot dog in that. I really want to get my work schedule going so I can get back to my side hobbies that I've neglected. Star Wars, I'm not going to talk about Star Wars. This is not happening. This is not happening. God, 89%. I feel like I'm getting so close. You guys have to make me stop before I finish this because I do need to go eat. But man, do I wish I could just sit here and finish it because I'm almost at 90% here. Have not finished the Shinmu anime yet. MJ is in a different room. <laughs> I don't know where she's at right now. 90%. The thing is you say 90% and then you do this. You're like, oh my God. Thanks lady dub. How often do like so streamers besides me that you you follow? How often? Uh, how often? How regular do you have to be before it feels like a regular schedule? What's a what's a realistic amount of streams to try and shoot for? Once a week? See, that seems like I should be able to do that. Once month monthly is not enough. Especially not for me because when I have that long of breaks, I really hate having to read through a bunch of donations. I feel like I have to juggle doing the stream and also reading all the catch-up donations because I've been gone for so long. Once a week. Maybe I'll try that. Cause like in my in my you know imagination, you know the when I was doing the three days a week, man, those were some good times. But reality, I don't know that it's I, that I can't do that. But I think trying to jump into that is not going to work out for me. So maybe trying to jump into a smaller schedule first, adjusting the other work around it, is a smarter idea. See, twice a day, probably not going to be able to do. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I won't, that's the thing. I won't stream if I feel forced. I just won't. I'll just, I'll bail instead of doing it. But I also need to like, you know, sometimes I need a push. Sometimes I do need a little motivation and... I get worked up about the lead up to something and it's actually a lot of fun even though I was worked up beforehand, you know? It's good advice. This is some good advice. Scheduled streams were great when doing a series. Yeah, see, that's another... With the longer ones... I think it's a really smart idea, especially for me to get the series over with as fast as I can without letting too many breaks go. Because if I take too many breaks, I end up not wanting to finish. Um, so with something like episode or something, it would need to be pretty consistent streams. But I could, like, 
I could balance that. I could just only do those kinds of streams when I have more uh, wiggle room in my with my other stuff. You know, that's that's manageable. Play more RPGs. Torture your Sims Tuesday. This does not feel safe. If I did more episode. I do want to do more episode. I, I think I need to stream more in preparation. Um, because even just streaming like this gets my voice tired. And that was the biggest challenge with the episode streams. There were two challenges with the episode streams. The first one is I'm not good at reading. And I get real embarrassed when I don't read no good. But it's inevitable. Second challenge was uh, having to talk and project so much. Um, but again, I think that's just something I got I got to work up to again. If, I, if I'm doing a little more regular streams, it won't be as big of a deal. <laughs> Housewives, I don't think I'm gonna make a Housewives related video. That topic is much too big. Oh, I know. I'm not saying anybody cares. I'm not saying... I'm not even saying it's a problem to, you know, get roasted for it. I'm just saying that's just what happens when I, I just get embarrassed about it. Ooh, Oregon Trail's good. I did not play ABC Murder. I remember, yeah, I remember some type of singing song part in the episode. Maybe I need to watch the episode. Maybe if I watch the streams back, it would, like, motivate me to do them again. Because they were a lot of fun. And it's the closest thing I've ever done to, like... Not voice acting. Calling it voice acting is very generous. But I enjoyed doing different voices. Which is not something I don't think I even tried that before episode. Not played Death Road to Canada now. Episode is a it's an app. It's a mobile game like a choose your own adventure where the I think users can write their own stories. It's really silly, um, but it was it ended up being a really fun community experience. Can you break your legs? Probably not. We'll find out. Cause I gotta. I mean, I gotta get off this roof here. How do you pick an episode, though? Like, I don't even really realize how I know. I guess I just did it. I guess I didn't overthink it. Back when I could do that. <laughs> Only 4% left. What do you mean? We, I, the playground cannot wait. We're right there. I don't have to pee. I have to eat. I can see how you would hear pee when I said eat. 
see, look, we can't just stop. Look. Did you see that? The whole thing just went bing. My stick is getting cold. Okay, I won't finish the playground. Stuck on the haunted house for an extra two hours pixel hunting. Yeah, I guess I did get pretty stuck in that, that backyard section, maybe. After this level, I gotta clean a tank of oatmeal. Oh boy. This is dirt. This is all dirt. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging out today, guys. This was... I went a lot longer than I expected to. This was a little more engaging than I thought it was gonna be. I still think I'm gonna choose House Flipper over this. Mm-hmm, but it's been pretty good. Ben Meatloaf. Thank you for the 20 months. Venti Venti, looks, look who's 20. It's you. Oh my God, the floor, dude. Thanks, Desi. Listen, the kids, they've got dermatitis. They need a clean playground. The concerning thing is that I'm at 99%, but I'm not getting any of the pop-ups that are like, this is what you gotta do. This thing under here is just gross. See it. I see the filth. That's nice. I see the filth. I used to love these things. The tic-tac-toe spinny things. Great playground fixture. Playground stories. Um, not really. I can't really think of anything that interesting that, uh, that happened. Our playground was pretty normal. There was only really one dangerous thing. It was like a, it's like a thing that you climbed up to get onto the second level of the playground from the ground, and it 
It came down, went straight, and then really low to the ground, flattened out. And people would uh, trip on that all the time. That was like the most dangerous thing, because you'd run around the corner and not see that thing and get your ankle caught into it. Um, but no? Any major falls? Not not for me. I'm I'm careful. I've always been careful. Stools and roof. What are st oh, stools. I always like the swings. I would I would spend all day on the swings. I would probably do that today. Just put me on a swing. Oh, that sounds nice, actually. Oh, we had um, those real tire, like giant tires that you would play in. That was a thing. I did it. You did it. Is the gnome still there? Gnome still there. All right. See, here I go. I wonder if it's going to show me getting stuck under the dinosaur. Oh, not really. They kind of glossed over that part. <laughs> Is this actually a recreation of how I did it? Or... Like, how do they do this? It actually does look like it was a recreation of how I did it. They just take, like, micro snapshots as you clean? That's pretty cool. I wish it had shown me getting stuck in the dinosaur for longer, but I get it. They probably just record when you're actually making progress and not when you're stuck under a dinosaur. Well, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I quite enjoyed myself. Um, that's it. That's It's the end of the stream. I'm going to go eat some food. And I'll be back soon, eventually, with more stuff. Take it easy, everybody. Here I go. Bye-bye. I have no exit screen, so it's just going to stop. <laughs>